Hello, hello, fellow subscribers and newcomers. It's Slayer Man, and welcome to the channel. Today, I have a pretty awesome video for you guys. It's a World of Tanks gameplay video, and not only that, it's an Ace Tanker gameplay. So, just as a disclaimer, before I really get into anything, just try to stick it out to the end because the very beginning of the battle is very, very slow. Um, I will do my best to narrate and let you know what I, what I was thinking at the time. But basically the beginning is very, very slow. I'm just sitting on this, you know, kind of mountain position, trying to use my gun to my advantage, try to get some nice shots from a distance. And eventually I decided, you know, it's nothing's really going here, so I'm going to get off, you know, I'm going to get off this mountain and try to find a better position. So right now I'm using the 105 gun on the E75, which is a tier 9 gun, on a tier 9 tank. And for those of you who are any bit unfamiliar with the German heavy line, this specific German heavy tank line, it is in the same line as the Tiger in tier 7, the King Tiger in tier 8, and then the E75 at tier 9, and the E100 at tier 10. And so basically, I'm just kind of sitting on this position using that gun to my advantage because that gun has a really dis decent aim time, the, uh, the accuracy is pretty good, and I'm just using the distance to my advantage. I'm also trying my best to not rush out there, of course, because you don't want to do that. And so basically, I'm just kind of sitting back, letting the battle play out a little bit. I came into the battle kind of unsure, really, how the battle was going to play out. I kind of looked at the other team and see who I was matched up with. And so I decided that this is how I wanted to play it out at first. And basically, you're just going to see me, you know, going back and forth, back and forth, trying my best not to get detected. Once an enemy tank is detected, I'm going to try my best to aim and, you know, give it my best shot. Uh, there's a couple times, I'm sure, where I'll miss. And like this, for this example right here, the T-29 was there, but it was behind the rock. I could not see anything. I couldn't get a shot. So basically, I'm just looking around, and I'm kind of... Uh, you know, sticking it out with uh, this uh, tank destroyer. I'm very unfamiliar with its name. And I just took a shot there. And, of course, I see that it is, uh, it is a weaker tank of a lower tier. So I took a shot, and I hit. Took another shot, and I hit. So that's already two critical damage and two penetrations. However, I was hit, and my uh, gas tank was damaged. So I was always weary for the rest of the battle to be sure to try not to get any hits that would compromise the gas tank because that would lead to a fire and a fiery death is not the way to go. And also, as you can see, uh, catching on fire was not really a big thing for me on the E75, but damaging a heck load of modules was the thing for the E75. A lot of times when I'm shot at, I very rarely have caught on fire. I am pretty much I could say about halfway through the grind with this E75 and I've only caught fire like twice and I'm pretty sure both times were from artillery so I decided okay the extinguisher is not really needed and thank goodness to the new water tanks update you can now carry more than one of the same you know uh, module kit repair you know what I'm trying to say you can you know get two small repair kits or three small repair kits or you know um, three first aid kits two first aid kits you can basically duplicate it so right now I decided okay this is not really working for me this is not the kind of strategy that I want to use so I'm gonna get off of this mountain and I'm gonna try to find a better position and right now I just kinda looked at uh, uh, at my uh, friendly um, artillery over there because um, I, I have never really seen high tier artillery. So every time I do, I just like to glance at it because I'm like, oh my goodness. And so here I am trying to take a shot and both shots bounced. So I'm like, okay, I'm not gonna be able to penetrate him from the top. So what's gonna happen is I'm just gonna try to go around and find a better position and make myself advantageous. Also, um, I was in the middle of pretty much nowhere and I realized that after my second shot so I'm like okay I'm shooting I'm not doing any damage and plus I'm in the middle of nowhere so I am an easy target 
which that's the thing about these German heavy tanks. You know, if you look at the, uh, for example, uh, the Russian heavy tank line, they have a really, really low profile. Whereas the uh, German heavy tanks, you know, they they tend to stand out. You know, I mean, they they're a really big target for you know, especially artillery. They're a big target for artillery. So you must always be wary and always be careful. And uh, I see this guy uh, was battling. And I was like, okay, I'm gonna go help out my friend in the Panther. And what happened is, is that that guy made a terrible decision to pull right around the rock and destroyed him. So now I'm going up against this T29, and I know his weak spot is up front. I know my gun has way more than enough penetration to penetrate the front of his tank. So that is where I'm aiming. And basically, I just got hit from I have no idea where. And it damaged um, my gun, but luckily, like I said, those repair kits will come in handy. I managed to repair it. And there, as you can see already, the enemies were capturing the base. So I'm getting a little nervous now. This guy's trying to be mighty, mighty aggressive, and he pays. He pays ultimately for that. So you see me just going forward, reverse, forward, reverse, trying to, you know, kind of trying to play around with them, see if they'll shoot prematurely and miss. And right now, I'm about to shoot at this T29 because he made a very, very bad move and gets destroyed. So moving on, um, see, look at how I'm playing. I'm, you know, I'm trying to play cover to cover. I'm using these destroyed tanks as cover. And that tank I was shooting at earlier is now showing me his side. So now I have some pretty good shots. But he manages to, uh, I don't know if he repaired it or if the, uh, if the uh, time to repair his track, uh, you know, basically came to full. And he was able to back away, and I, I was not able to get any more shots on him. Uh, but basically, you're going to see me just sit there and um, watch the time go up. Or actually, I might say go down on how much time is left to capture the base. Very, very nervously. Took a shot there. It was a very dumb shot. It was more of like a blind fire shot, really. And it, it was more like a Hail Mary, if anything. Didn't work. So there I go, I'm like, okay, I really need to get to this base, you know, I can't have, I, I cannot worry about this T29 over there, none of that, I need to go ahead and capture this base or we are going to lose the battle. So I take side of him, and this is what a good World of Tanks player, uh, not even good, because I'm not even going to say that about myself, but this is what a World of Tanks player who has, you know, basic knowledge on the different game modes should do. I'm not trying to rush into the flag. I am aware that if you damage an enemy while they're capturing a flag, the time it takes to capture the flag increases. So basically, if you're capturing, if there's an enemy capturing the flag and there's only 12 seconds left, if you damage the enemy, that could bump it up to 30 seconds now for them to capture the base. And basically, you're just buying yourself time by damaging. So you don't have to just blindly rush in. So here's this tiger, and obviously I know for a fact I have an advantage. I know for a fact that his gun is not going to really do much damage to me, so I can play aggressive. I can come out of cover and try to chase him, and just basically destroy him with my 105, because I know no matter where I hit, it, he would have to be so, so lucky to bounce one of the shots, because this gun has really good penetration, and has really good damage. And see, I'm just worried about the flag right now. I'm not worried about that T29 behind me. But now I see that that tank has been dealt with. I have some time, so I turn around. And I just shoot at the T29. Just try to get him to back off. You know, get out of here. Don't shoot at me. I will ruin you. I need to focus on these tanks. So there, we got, a, we got an amazing shot from that artillery that I was showing you earlier that I was looking at. An amazing shot. A clutch shot. And so now I'm like, all right. Now that we've eliminated the enemies at the base, we can go for this T29. And so here I go. I'm like, you know what? It's a T29. I have quite a bit of health. So I'm going to be aggressive. And he knows I'm going to be aggressive. He keeps backing up. So there, bam. Squeeze off a shot. I aim for his track. See if I could track him. I didn't. But then again, I have the better gun. So I still did damage him. And so here I go being aggressive again. Aim for that spot. Boom. Boom. Another shot, hit its target, doing some damage, and here I go being aggressive again, reloading, he misses, bam, I hit him, he's tracked, I back up to reload just because just I really don't want to take that many hits, 
which chances are they still might bounce, but you never know. Bam, hit him again, and bam, another amazing shot. I even called it out. Look, I put great shot. And so I see somebody trying to cap the base, but I don't know what they were thinking. I don't know if they thought wiser of it or whatever, but I, I guess they just decided to step off, and there they are. So I try to see if I can get a shot off of them, and I'm like, no, I don't want to take that shot, because at that angle, I would have bounced for sure. It's a tier 9 tank, so I would not have penetrated. So I'm going to be a little more aggressive now that I see that he's really, really low on health. But he is a he has a very low profile tank, which, you know, if I hit his turret, it's going to bounce off. So I, I was always wary of that. So I approach him slightly aggressively, but also at the same time playing it a little cautiously. And so, bam, I see... Bam, there we go. Another shot. He's tracked, and I know that no matter what he throws at me, I'm going to beat him. His reload time is very similar to mine, so bam, shot him again, and look, he has almost no health. So you can shoot at me as many times as you want, but I'm going to beat you. Bam, he's dead. The game's over. GG, everyone. And now time to check out the post-game stats. Alright guys, so here we are at the post-game stats. Sadly, I do not have premium, but I did get 4 destroys, just over 4,000 damage, 18 penetrations, almost 3,000 assisted, and 2,500 blocked, almost 2,500 at least. Uh, honestly, solid game all throughout. I really, really enjoyed this game, obviously. There's the ace tanker, the gold M, and... It was probably one of my best, best games. I actually had two ace tankers in the same day, but I just so happened to capture this one, whereas the first one, I couldn't really capture it. But yeah, guys, thank you so much for watching. I really do appreciate it. Hopefully, you guys really did enjoy as much as I enjoyed bringing this to you guys. If you are new, please be sure to subscribe. Our new subscriber goal is 100. If you could help me get there, that would be insanely appreciated. And also, be sure to drop a like comment share the video all that good stuff and also my social media links will be in the description below but guys thank you once again so very much we did hit our 75 subscriber goal and i could not be any more thankful but guys hopefully you have a very good day very good week work school whatever you guys are doing hopefully everything goes well for you all and i will catch you guys in another video thank you so much and have a good day.